uh, about the program and, and that you will uh, share the good news, share with folks that we're on the air. Oh, someone says they can't hear me. Okay. Uh, we've got some new equipment and I want to try something here. move forward. If you can't hear me, please let me know. All right. Let's see. Here. Okay. All right. I think that's better. All right. I hope that's better. I think it's better. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's get into tonight's program, assuming you can hear me. I hope you can. Um, it has been, as I said, some time since we were on the air, and uh, I'm very happy to be back. Um, there have been so many things that have taken place since we were last here. Of course, there's been a change of administration uh, the Biden administration, uh, Vice President Kamala Harris uh, is uh, the first uh, woman of color, uh, first uh, African-American, first Asian-American to occupy the vice presidency of the United States. Uh, Trump is gone. Um, so many people uh, who wanted to see a Democratic administration uh, are happy. And so we'll be talking about the administration as time uh, progresses. We'll be talking about the, uh, the politics in the nation. Uh, but we're going to talk tonight about several things, uh, including New York City politics. As many of you know, early voting started last week in New York City. And uh, we're going to talk tonight about a number of the important races taking place in New York City. Uh, I hope that you who are listening in the city will pay great attention tonight to the analysis concerning the election. All right. So we're going to get into that uh, in a little bit. But I do want to start this evening by dealing with two things. The first of which is Father's Day. Uh, yesterday was Father's Day in the United States of America, and I want to say a happy Father's Day to every father uh, that uh, enjoyed yesterday, to every father that is, is a father. Um, we are often, uh, as fathers, uh, forgotten about, neglected. Uh, the office of father is a very difficult um, office, particularly in today's society, uh, where there has been sort of an unrelenting assault uh, on the whole concept and idea of, of, of manhood, of masculinity. Uh, and that is, in my view, extremely problematic. Uh, Christian people should not get involved in that. Religious people should not, uh, because uh, it, at least from the perspective of the Abrahamic faiths, and I'm sure in many other faiths as well, um, there is a place, an important place for mother and father. And indeed, as I said yesterday uh, at my uh, church, uh, you gotta have a mom and dad to get kids here. And if there's a mom and a dad uh, that is needed for a child to be born, then we can't look askance or excoriate either of those institutions. And so I'm unashamed, I'm unabashed in celebrating the institution of fatherhood. And I hope you are too. And so I hope that uh, we will become comfortable uh, in this country again, as we once were with the institution of fatherhood 
and I hope that um, you will be proud to celebrate uh, this important institution. Uh, and so happy Father's Day, dads, all of you. Uh, I, there's a young man in New York who I have a great deal of respect for. He does some great work with women. Uh, he does some great work uh, advocating for women. Uh, he does some great work with men in the city. Uh, but one of the things that he does, and I, and I told him that I could not agree with it, I would not agree with it, is that every Father's Day, he has uh, a, an event, um, and the focus of that event on Father's Day is domestic violence. Uh, and I said, wait a minute. I said, now, Father's Day is to celebrate not what some men don't do or what other men don't do, but ah. Uh, Okay, well, apparently it did not. So I need some feedback. I need you all to tell me whether you can hear me. Uh, if you can't hear me, I need to do something differently. And if you can hear me, um, I'll proceed. So Dave Barkley, I, 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 I see where you've written that I might be muted and I've made some adjustments. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? 